So let's do a review on Venom 200 by itself. I did leave it out of my new comic book day review video, but I thought with this being such a monumental issue and what everybody was really looking for, I would do uh, this one by itself. Now this was a pretty giant sized oversized issue. I think it was something like 80 pages, give or take. They brought on uh, several of the best artists from Venom. Everybody from Mark Bagley to Ron Lim to Gerard Sandoval and a couple of more. Obviously, uh, Ryan Stegman was on this. In my opinion, I think he does have some of the best artwork and I love uh, the work he does do on Venom. And this book also was co-written for about 10 pages by Philip Kennedy Johnson. So that's very interesting. I think it was pages 40 through 50, something like that. But this is the finale to Donny Cates' Venom run, right? Issue 35 or issue 200. Now, it was a pretty interesting issue because, you know, it definitely set the tone for what um, Al Ewing is about to have to pick up on, right? And it also gave a lot of really, really big surprises. And uh, there will be some spoilers here. So uh, you will be spoiled if you've not read Venom 200 yet. I did like that it basically gave the first few pages or so. It did give a quick overview of Venom and his history and why he's where he's at now. That was cool. I did enjoy that the focus was explaining how powerful uh, Eddie Brock, not Venom, Eddie Brock is now. He's basically God, but it basically describes that he's not omnipresent and he was very clear about that to Spider-Man. But it's really cool because you're starting to see Eddie um, develop as this God-like creature, uh, but it is not coming without a risk. He's basically dying and aging every time he uses this power. It's taking a huge toll on his body. Uh, you get to see how it impacts Dylan. Uh, he no longer has his powers and he's frustrated his angry you know his mom abandoned him his grandfather hurt him his father didn't want him and he has some real issues um like anybody would to be you know fair but all that to say um it was a good i think it was a good wrap up because you got to see you know eddie brock spend some time with spider-man and i thought that was really uh, I, I thought that was good, right? I mean, it all started there. Let's end it there, I guess, with this. I thought it was very interesting that he was having a conversation alongside Spider-Man, as well as having a conversation with the Avengers, and you actually get to see the two points sync up in the book. So that was really, really neat. Um, and again, he was very adamant. He's omnipresent. He's not omnipotent. And what he's able to do is visit any time He's able to be in all places at once through the hive, through all of these other symbiotes, past, present, future, other places. But there's only one person he hasn't been able to track down, and that's the maker. So you know the maker is going to be the big key, I think, in the Al Ewing run and what they're going to do there. You obviously got to see Venom. You got to see Sleeper again. Um, you're starting to see a little bit of the aftermath. But the big focus here was Eddie has kind of elevated up to this godlike status, and now we're seeing Dylan step into the Venom role. Um, so Dylan is now Venom. Uh, they did explain it that he is not just Dylan with a symbiote. Uh, the symbiote actually has, the Venom symbiote has its own name. Well, it's just cheesy, but, um, and we don't even get the name, but Venom, the point they made is Venom is actually the combination of two, right? The combination of Dylan and the symbiote. We are Venom. Or, you know, the, the, the symbiote in Eddie Brock, which I guess makes sense because it's always been We Are Venom. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, overall, I think this is a great setup for Al Ewing. He has so much he can go and do with this. And I think it is going to be fantastic. I really, really do. It got me excited about Venom again. Um, I'm in, tr intrigued by this new, you know, uh, Carnage kind of event they're coming out with this um, this summer. But overall, not a bad book. Um, I did love the fact that uh, I, I believe it was Donny Cates kind of doing homage to Spawn that when Dylan said his favorite superhero in comic books wore chains, I think that had to have been, you know, an homage to Spawn because now Venom has the chains and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm, I, that's got to be an homage to Todd, especially with the, the work he's doing with Todd now. I, I'm interested to see. Uh, if you guys, if there was something else I missed, but I'm fairly certain it was an homage to Todd in the spawn. So overall, pretty, pretty cool. Um, you know, they just elevated Eddie Brock to one of the most powerful folks in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, which is weird because, you know, Eddie Brock is just basically a reporter. <laughs> so, I don't know. 
I, I'm still processing that one. What do you guys think about that ending? But I will say, I'm happy to see Dylan now becoming Venom. Um, Marvel's been doing that a lot with bringing in newer generations of uh, characters, right? We have Miles Morales. We have uh, now, obviously, Dylan as Venom. You have characters like Miss Marvel. Um, all of these new, you know, new folks kind of coming in. And, and I think that'll be really neat for, for some of these readers. Although I'm not sure if, you know, 10, 12, 13 year old should be reading Venom or some of these other books, but I'm very intrigued by it. And I think Dylan as a character is great. We've explored a ton of stuff with Eddie. Yeah, let's let's see what Dylan gets into and what he develops and um We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy Venom 200? Were you shocked by the big reveal? I absolutely was not. Uh, I think that was something we knew was coming back from issue nine or something like that. So yeah, one thing I'll point out is that Eddie and Dylan have kind of swapped those roles, right? So Dylan is now Venom and Eddie now has that kind of omnipresent symbiote control type thing that Dylan originally kind of started off with. So it's, it's interesting. It's cool. Um, I'm into it. Guys, let me know what you think. Overall, I was satisfied with the ending. Guys, you're the best part of Two Brothers Comics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video out. And remember, we do have two other channels, the comic book shorts and the comic book reviews, as well as our main channel, Two Brothers Comics. So check those out. Those are in the description below. And as always, collect your way.